The 49-day period between Pesach and Shavuos is a time that marks the death of Rabbi Kiva's students. The great sage whom we know had 12,000 pairs of students who perished during this period between Pesach and Shavuos. And the reason our rabbis give for the death of Rabbi Akiva's students is because they did not show honor one to another. Therefore they died and therefore we mark this time with certain aspects of mourning to learn the lesson that we have to work on this aspect in our lives. Clearly the students of Rabbi Akiva are in a level and are of greatness beyond our imagination. And yet we need to understand how can we even ascribe to the students of this great sage a comment they did, that they did not treat each other with the proper respect. One interpretation that's offered in the commentators is that when the Medrash notes about the death of Rabbi Akiva students, it never says 24,000 students perished. It always uses the expression 12,000 pairs. Why not just mention the number? Why emphasize the aspect of pairs? And the commentator continues by explaining that this indeed was the problem, this indeed is the issue. That when they would learn in pairs together, when they would learn Bechavrusa together, they only chose as their study partner someone whom they felt was on the same level. Someone who they felt was on the same intellectual, academic, and spiritual level, on par with each other. And this was such a small nuance that Rabbi Akiva himself perhaps was not even aware. But deep within them, what was driving them only to learn with someone on their level? It was this feeling of, I can only work with somebody who's on par with me. It was a feeling that I can't go and learn with somebody who needs a little bit more of my help. Somebody who perhaps is not as driven academically, or the intellectual acuity is not as great. And because of this issue, where they did not show honor to one another, meaning that they were not open to learning with each other, that they were only able to learn with those who were their equal, God, in his infinite wisdom, God, who understood the great level and what was demanded of them, took their lives at this time. And the lesson for us is very clear. We know that this is the time to work on our midos, to work on our character traits. And perhaps one of the most important mida we can learn from this story, one of the most important aspects that we can inculcate in our life, is Ezu Chacham, who is the wise one, Halomein Mikol Adam, who has the ability, who has the interest, who has the drive to learn from every single individual whom they encounter. The message of Rabbi Akiva's students is a message which is so pertinent to my life. It's not I will only learn from. It's not I can only gain from. No. Every person, whether it's the smallest child, whether it's someone perhaps I don't even know, but everyone has a world of wisdom. Everyone in life I should look at as an opportunity for growth. And my life should therefore be growth oriented to be able to look at every encounter, every person I meet with and ask myself, what can I learn from them? What can I learn from the way they behave, the way they think, the way they interact? What are aspects that they have in their personality they want to integrate into mine? And if I'm able to grow, if I'm able to learn, if I am a person who is lomein mikolatam, who desires to learn from everyone, in that way I am a person who's ready to look at life as opportunities to embrace growth. 
And in that way, I have learned the lesson of the death of Rabbi Akiva's students and can utilize this time period between Pesach and Shavuos to be a person who is ascending the mountain of God to learn from life experiences, to grow as an individual, and ultimately to become a more sensitive person in my interpersonal relationships as well as a deeper, greater person in my relationship to God.